Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to be doing my first impression of the Colorstay Full Cover Foundation and the Revlon Prep and Protect Primer. It has a broad spectrum of 34 and what it says it does is a long wear primer with 3-in-1 solution that moisturizes, primes, protect. It claims it won't leave your skin looking chalky or leaving an ashy cast. It has 24-hour wear. It delivers smooth, mattified look all day. The consistency kind of surprised me. It's more on the liquidy side, and it came out with a little bit of color. It's not completely white. It's almost like a eggshell white or maybe an off-white. So it has a little bit of a tint on it. And then as far as the Color Stay Full Cover Foundation, I got the shade 410, and that is Toast. I got Toast because it was the second to the last shade on the display in my CVS. So in my CVS, there was 12 shades. Um, and then when I look online, there is 14. So it still isn't very many dark colors, but this is the shade that I ended up getting. We will talk a little bit more about the foundation after uh, we apply this Prep and Protect Primer. So I'm going to put that on my cheeks and the little bit that I put on the back of my hand just basically absorbed really quickly. So I'm going to just apply some more. And what I can tell so far is that it does give a cast on my skin tone. You'll see as I try to rub it in, it's just going to kind of stay there. My skin tone is not purpley blue, whatever you see right now happening. Uh, so I don't agree with that claim. It definitely got better the more I rubbed it in. So it seemed like it wanted to not be white and have a cast, but it still did on my skin tone. So this is something that I would not be able to wear alone. So I'm going to apply one side with my Real Techniques blending sponge, which I love. The consistency of this foundation is pretty thick. It's like a thick mousse, I feel like, when I touch it. Um, so I had high hopes for it at first. I was like, this is going to be such full coverage. So I'm just going to dot that on my face. And then after that, I'm going to go in with the sponge to blend it out. Right away, I noticed that... It wasn't my color or my undertone. Uh, it was kind of making me look a little gray, but I still wanted to see how it wore, so I'm just going to continue to add more. I ended up using basically the whole pump on this side of my face because I did not get full coverage. Look at how I look. I look so crazy. This foundation claims to be full coverage with a matte finish, lasts up to 24 hours. Comfortable wear that moves with your skin without flaking or caking. Easy to apply and blends seamlessly. I wasn't completely turned off that I wasn't getting full coverage because usually with a beauty sponge, it doesn't give you as much coverage as it says on the bottle because it's sucking up more of the foundation. So I'm like, okay, it's probably doing this with the sponge, but I had hopes with the brush that it will give me more coverage. So I'm just going to let you see my face. You see how great. It's just not working at all. Look at it. <laughs> I was confused. All right, so we're going to add another pump on the other side. And I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques uh, brush. I love this brush. I just love Real Techniques in general. And I started to apply it and it was leaving so many streaks on my face. Like I do not recommend using this product with a brush because it was super streaky. So I am going to go in and blend on that side as well. And just to mention, I didn't get very full coverage on this side neither. Like I told you guys before, I'm having a breakout, so I do have some blemishes. And they're not completely covered. I'll say if you don't have acne-prone skin and don't have hyperpigmentation, you probably could get full coverage. But as for me, uh, with one pump, one full pump on each side, it is about a medium coverage. Okay guys, so this is what my face is looking like now that I'm done with the rest of my face. 
Um, what I can say so far is that my regular uh, products that I use and I know and I love layered on top of them perfectly fine. Uh, my concealer looks pretty good as well and usually if a foundation just doesn't work at all like the concealer and things just grab at it really bad but I feel like it um, everything layered on pretty well. Um, what draws me back from this foundation is that there is a original color stay foundation which I feel like has even more coverage than this full coverage uh, version of it. It comes in a glass bottle. You see? Yeah, it comes in a glass bottle. I bought the pump separately, but this is what it looks like. This has been around for years, for years. Um, I feel like this is one of those gems in the drugstore. And so um, getting this foundation, I thought that it would be a better formula. Maybe they changed some things for the good or for the best, which this is already a really good foundation. Um, I don't know what I, I just had high hopes. And for me, it's just not as good good and I feel like why put something out there that's not as good as the original or just change the name instead of have them both be color stay you know what I mean because now the expectations are high because you said color stay because this original one is so great I hope that makes sense if you are a color in this foundation you're definitely a different color in the other foundation this has a very good range of colors if I'm not mistaken I'll leave how many colors the color stay has somewhere around my head somewhere um, but this foundation had a display in my CVS and it was only 12 colors I feel like there's room for so many more colors this the the one that I have is 410 um, and that is the second to the last shade that was on that display and then there's mahogany which I know that I'm not the darkest person out there so for 410 to be very pale on me or the undertone not right whatever was going on with it uh, if I go to mahogany that means that I'm the deepest skin tone in this line which I'm not <laughs> you know so that's just you know I feel like that's where I it, it just draws me back from it side by side this one is darker than the one I'm wearing so this is like my perfect shade and then the 410 is too light so that's very confusing being that this is 400 you know you would think 410 would be deeper I guess I'll go about the day and see how this wears I feel like it's gonna wear pretty well because now that I put on my uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder to bring my skin tone back and I did all my other um, steps that I normally would in my foundation routine I just feel like from how it feels and how matte my face feel at this point that it is going to hold up pretty well but we will see I will be back to give you a uh, update or probably check in on my phone I don't know whichever one I decide to do but so far I think that it looks like I have foundation on it doesn't look like skin which I don't think it claims to uh, say but it does look like you have on foundation um, not settling into the fine lines but definitely not making my texture look any less textured if that makes sense if you follow me a lot on here if you watch my videos you know that I have a lot of texture and right now I'm currently th going through a breakout and when I look at myself in the viewfinder because this is matte it is making me look like I have pretty good skin but when you get up close on me you can really see the texture um, around my face so let's uh, go ahead and get on with the rest of this video and we'll see how we feel at the end of the day okay hi guys so it is officially the end of my day I am about to get in the shower and no I'm not naked you see so don't don't try to play me um, anyway um, what I can say about this foundation is it looks like I just applied it I am a very oily skin type and I'm like I, I actually can't believe that I'm not oily really anywhere
my blush, my highlight, everything is still looking really good. I still think that it looks, it just looks like I'm wearing makeup and it's not the most comfortable foundation to wear. Um, you can definitely feel it sitting on your face, but it didn't settle into any creases. I still have that really old looking texture on my face. Like I look very old and dry looking and if you don't know I do have very textured skin so I don't ever want my texture to look worse and I'm not saying that this foundation is making it look worse but it's not doing nothing for it either it's just actually it is making it look worse because it looks more dry now with it and I'm an oily skin type so I don't really like I don't ever really want to suck the oils out of my skin because it looks more textured and I feel like that's what's happening like I it absorbed all the oil but because I have texture it just doesn't look the way I want it to in person but no oils have came through I'm an oily skin type by this time I would have something like here or somewhere in the t-zone and it's basically been um, how many hours three four five six seven eight nine almost ten almost seven hours so I do think that this would be a good foundation if you can, one, find your shade. Um, I don't think it's worth mixing foundations because if you do that at $13, you're spending a pretty penny on drugstore foundation. And I feel like there's more high-end stuff or uh, cheaper foundations in the drugstore that will give you a very nice look overall, give you matte. Like they're, the drugstore is doing their thing, so I think that you'll find something a little bit better. Um, still really love the color stay, uh, the original. I still love that because it doesn't make me look all textured and old looking like how I look right now. But as far as it holding up, it does hold up. Uh, none of my oils came through, so I think this is good for anyone who has very oily skin and just like to stay really matte. Don't really have texture or very dry skin. You can pull this off, definitely. But I, I'm, I'm taking it back because I wouldn't see myself walking around with this on i just don't like the way my skin is looking right now so as usual thank you all for watching have a blessed day night or whatever it is where you are bye guys